Hey guys, welcome to Adventure Gaming HQ, and today we're going to be doing a full review and tutorial on the application called Video. Video, not, not video, video. Video, what's up? Now this application actually allows you to record your screen on iOS 9.2 and I believe above and below. I don't know. This application uses no jailbreak, it doesn't use any codes, and is found directly on the App Store, which means you don't need Safari. And sadly, it's priced. But, uh, you, even the, the other applications like Airshow, Air, Airshoe, whatever you want to call it, you actually need to buy the codes to use it. And this use, you, uses no codes, so you don't need to worry about that. You just get it once, and you can use it forever. So that means if you're a gamer or something, you can actually record your games again, like Minecraft Pocket Edition. You can record that. It's perfect for it. Okay, let's jump right into this. Now, obviously, you'll need a couple of dollars, and you need to go into the App Store. Next, what you want to do is you actually want to search video. Now, when you get there, you'll see there's two first applications. Now, one's called Video Mobile, and the other one's called Video with an exclamation point. You want to get the one with the exclamation point. I, I got the one with Video Mobile, and I was very confused. I thought it was a ripoff and all. But yes, you need this application, and where I live, it's actually $4.99, so it, it may be more or less depending on where you live. Okay, now you have Video. Next application you want to get is Rotate and Flip. As you'll see, it's the first application right here, Rotate and Flip. Now, this is the application you want to get if you want to edit your video because some applications, including Minecraft Pocket Edition, will be in the wrong uh, rotation, so it'll be to the side, and you don't want to upload your videos like that, so you want to get Rotate and Flip. And also, if you want to go above and beyond, you want to get Pinnacle Studio, which will allow you to edit your videos however you like. Now, by the way, Rotate and Flip is completely free. Pinnacle Studio is not. So, the two basic applications you want to get is Rotate and Flip and Video. Those are the two applications you will need. Okay, now let's get right into the video tutorial. Go into the application, and you will see all of this stuff. Now, you'll have to do this every single time you go into the application, so it doesn't memorize what you do the first time. So every time you go into this application, you want to do these things. First of all, you can see this first section, audio source. Now you can have device audio and iPad microphone. Now, if you want to record your, your the uh, device, like the sounds that's coming out of the device directly into the video, I don't know how to explain it. You'll just have to try it out for yourself and see what I mean. Next, there's video source, which has three different options, and actually all the options can be picked at once. So now we can have device screen, back camera, and front camera. Now, since we're recording our device, we would pick the first one, the device screen. Next, we could have output options. Now, you could have device resolution and device max frames per second, which is FPS. Now, the device resolution actually depends on whether or not you're like a big time YouTuber and if you want to put out really high quality videos, you you uh, keep 1080p, which will make it look really, really crisp and it'll look sharp and everything, but uh, 720, it'll also look good, but it won't look as good, it won't look crisp and sharp, but it'll still look good, and then 540 and 360 are like if you don't have enough space on your device and and you, you, don't, you just don't have that space to make those good quality videos videos. Next is FPS. Now, if you pick 60 FPS, the uh, resolution will actually get kind of grainy and everything. So I like doing 30 uh, because it won't be as grainy and like uh, laggy because uh, 60 is like taking in a lot of information and uh, it's just doing half. 30 is half and it won't look, it won't look bad at 30. 30 is actually pretty good. It's, it's not a bad resolution. Okay, you have everything selected and you're ready to go. Next, what you want to do is you want to press start. Now, let's say you press start and it says error loading NULL or something like that. All you have to do is close the application and go back in. Very, very simple. Don't, don't freak out about it. It's just a small little error. This next step is actually being recorded by a real camera because when I try to record with my screen recorder, it actually crashes the recording. So, I'm just going to record with my camera and we're going to see how this goes. Now, to start the recording, you want to press start, obviously, and now you can see this 
thing that just gives you a whole bunch of instructions. This is what I read through to uh, learn this. It was kind of hard at first, as I said, but I got the hang of it. So, you don't really need to le le uh, read through this because I'm teaching you guys how to use it right now. Now, what you want to do is you want to press done, and now it'll give you this. Leave this on your screen. Whenever I uh, back out of this, it doesn't work. Now, what we want to do is we want to go into any application we want to go into. Right now, I'm going to go into uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition. As I said, it can be any application, so it does not have to be this application specifically. Now, to get your recording started, what you need to do is you need to slide up your screen like this. Next, what you want to do is you want to tap on this airplane thi uh, airplay thing right here. Now, you can see these options. Now, you just want to look for this option, video, right here, video. Now, it'll he you'll, hear, you'll, you'll hear a ding, just like that, a ding. And then now what we need to do is we need to get out of it. And whenever you hear that ding, that means that it is actually recording. So right now, it is recording my screen, everything I say. So now let's say you're done with your recording. You did everything you need to do. Now you want to get out. What you need to do is you need to do the exact same thing except opposite. You want to go into here, tap on this, and then you want to tap on iPad speaker, iPhone speaker, iPod speaker, whatever you have. Just this thing with this symbol. Now what you want to do, tap on that. And let's say recording stopped, and now you can go back into the application, and this will still be here. You just press done, and there it is. Ended session. And it'll say that it actually saved to your camera roll. And when you first do this, it'll, it'll ask you if it can go into your camera roll. Go ahead and say yes, and then just allow it. And now let's see if it's actually in our camera roll. And as you'll see, it's a really weird... Uh, orientation which is why we got that flip application yeah you can see it's like that and also when you try to scrub through it and everything like this it's actually as you can see it's still in the same frame that's because the uh, the uh, the format of the video is not mp4 which makes it really 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 uh, glitchy and weird but when we actually change the orientation with this other application it'll actually turn it into an mp4 file so you don't need to worry about this and you also don't need to worry about the orientation because we already have an application for that which is right over here this one also I want to say that when you're recording with video it may accidentally like say that it didn't save to the camera roll even though it did so when you're done with your recording and it just said it just doesn't say anything before you record again because you think it messed up check your camera roll and see if it's there I just want to say that and now we're gonna learn how to rotate the orientation of our video and change its format while doing so so we're gonna open the application rotate and flip that we got a little while ago and now we can see our application right here tap or not our application our, our video and now you can see this uh, so you can see it's playing through the video we want to tap this choose button right here choose and then now we have all these different controls we're gonna orientate it until it does this and there we go now we can press save right here press save there we go and now we're gonna have these two uh, options we want to tap the top option and there you go now it's gonna save to your camera roll and you're gonna be all good Once it's done, it'll say it's saved, and now we can go to the ca camera roll, and we can see our finished video. There it is right here, and now we can just press play, and we can see, look, now we can scroll through it, and it won't be on one uh, frame. It'll actually be scrolling through the video correctly, and now we can see, look at that crispness. Alright everyone, that was how to use the new iOS recorder for iOS 9.2 and above and maybe below. Also, before I go, a special shout out to someone named Reptiles. This guy made me an awesome banner. He also has a time lapse video going over all the steps he took to create it. It's really, really cool, and I'll put the video link in the description. Okay, everyone, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.